Hey guys, how are you? Hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing a review of a thriller from Canada. This is spoken in the French and Spanish language. Uh, released in the year 2011, directed by Dominic James, and this film is called Angle Mort. So Angle Mort takes place in Cuba. You've got a French-Canadian couple who are holidaying here. Uh, this couple have a very ro rocky relationship, and they're seeing this as a getaway to save their marriage. So the, the, the man is very uh, work-orientated. He's a workaholic, and, he, and his wife believes it's neglecting what she needs. So they go to Cuba. They get into their, uh, uh, you know, their hotel room and then they decide to travel across the country. So they're going across this highway, they stop at this gas station, they go inside for something to eat, and then they hear that there is a little bit of a fuss outside. This local Cuban woman is arguing with a mysterious guy who's dressed in black and has got a black truck. So they're arguing a lot and this uh, woman feels um, obliged to take a photo of this guy because she sees him as very strange. And this guy sees that she, she, he, uh, she's taken a photo of him and doesn't appreciate it. So he gets back in his truck and he takes off. So when the couple go into their car and they take off down the highway, they realise that this is not the last they're going to see of this mysterious guy because it turns out he is now stalking them on the highway. And it turns out this guy is so much more than just a mysterious figure. He is a terrifying serial killer. So their, uh, their holiday has gone from a joyous one to a terrifying one and whether or not they can make it home, something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Angle Mort. I didn't know what to expect with this one. Um, Dominic James is not really a director I am familiar with, so going into it with a very fresh uh, state of mind is always a plus. Uh, so I have gave it every opportunity to impress me. So there are elements of Angle Mort that really impressed me, but overall, the movie felt like it lacked inspiration. It felt like Dominic James didn't know how to propel the film into a very thrilling kind of environment. It has a very thrilling sort of um, premise, but it never translates to screen very well. So I thought the, the horror aspect of it was very lackluster. It never really elevates it to the point where it feels like it's a, it's a continuous sort of threat. So in the start of the movie, to start off with, it's very well shot. The cinematography is very vivid. It almost feels like it's a dreamlike uh, um, atmosphere. And so all the colouring is very, very strong. And I really like the way that it felt. And I like the way that it started. I actually thought the movie started in a very old-fashioned type. You've got a Cuban couple who are travelling down this very lonely highway, very spooky atmosphere, and then the killer comes. He takes care of them, and that's what starts the film. So it promises to take off from there, and it actually promises to be a fairly decent kind of experience. But... The rest of the film, it lacked motivation. The kills lacked motivation. The actual killer lacked motivation in the way that he appeared. It just felt like it was going through the motions. It felt like it was a very pedestrian experience. I thought the acting wasn't great. Uh, the couple weren't very um, likeable. You know, they were very 2D, hollow, cardboard cutout characters that you didn't care for. And unfortunately, you know, when they're going through the bad things, you don't really care if they live or die. But at the same time, it doesn't really feel rewarding at any at, at any stage. So, yeah, there are very limited kills in the film, and the kills just they're just very repetitive, and it feels like it was recycling the same idea over and over and over. And at the end of it, I just thought to myself, I want this to finish. I'm starting to get really sick of Angle Mort. I mean, the acting was decent, but they didn't have a lot to play with. The cinematography is excellent, as I said. And the killer, you know, for these types of movies, it's a killer stalking people on the highway. And, you know, this is not the, you know, the most original idea, but if it's an idea done well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be original. It can actually, you know, the setting of a lonely highway is very good, but it never felt like it took full advantage of that. It, it just felt like it well, wanted to be a thriller, but it didn't know how to be a thriller. And so it comes across as boring. You know, there are moments where there's a bit of a chase, but then it stops and then it just lingers a little bit. So you catch your breath after you've just had a thrilling moment and then you forget about it. And you think to yourself, well, this is very stop, start, stop, start. There's no really uh, real continuation. There isn't really a thrilling climax. Right at the end of the film, I thought, well, you know, what I've seen here is a movie that didn't strike me as a terrible film, but it struck me as a very forgettable experience. Now, Angle Mort, haven't really heard of it, and that's probably the, the reason why why you haven't heard of it is because it's just not that memorable. I mean, at the end of the day, you do you have to see this film? And the answer is probably no, which is unfortunate because Dominic James has talent. I've got another one of his films that I'm going to be watching soon, so hopefully that one's a little bit better. But this movie had a great setting in Cuba, and it had a great sort of premise, a very simplistic idea, but the simplicity wasn't really handled great.
great. And in the end, what you get is a very lacklustre horror slash thriller that doesn't really have any memorable qualities and anything that stands out as you know uh, a reason to recommend this film to you all. So overall, for Angle Moore, going to give it one and a half stars. I thought, yes, technically it was very well made. The acting was decent. But overall, it just felt like it was going through the motions, didn't elevate to any point where you're on the edge of your seat. And for a thriller, that's just not good enough. Alright guys, that's my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies and I'll see you later. Bye.